Welcome back. Todo effort ang mga atleta natin na manalo ng medal sa Asian Games. At alam nyo ba, ang bumibida ngayon para sa Philippine team ay ang mga babae nitong members. Kabilang na dyan ang taekwondo jin natin na si Pauline Lopez na nakabalik na sa bansa matapos manalo ng bronze medal. At mga kapanayam natin si Pauline ngayon dito sa The Score. Pauline, welcome back to the Philippines and congratulations on winning the bronze in the 2018 Asian Games. Thank you so much for having me. Pauline, we are so proud of you and your performance, but I know you have high expectations for yourself, but still you achieved the goal of making it to the podium. How does it feel to once again be able to compete for the Philippines at makapagbigay ng karangalan sa ating bansa? Well, you know, competing in any tournament, I am just so honored, so proud to be a Filipino, to step on the mat, to represent the Philippines. Now, this is my third Asian Games. Um, the first two, unfortunately, I wasn't able to step on the podium finish, but this time my main goal was to do that. So. Congratulations. And Thank I was you. watching your post-match interview. You were very emotional. Yes. Uh, you were unbeaten coming into your match against mm -hmm. the number two ranked uh, Taekwondo Jin. Yeah. I hope I get her name right. <laughs> Zong Shi Lu of China, yes. who's a lot taller than you. Six feet mm -hmm. tall. You're only five six. But you studied her and you were saying things during the post-match interview that maybe if you did this, the outcome could have been different. I just want to ask you specifically, now that the match is over and you can go back to the drawing board, what would you have done differently to come out with a more favorable result? Well, um, so after the tournament, I needed to take a step back and analyze. But of course, the emotions were there and it was so fresh and the, yeah. you know, the reporters just asked me right yeah. away. So I said those things because I knew when I watched the videos, when I analyzed again, I knew I shouldn't have fallen or I shouldn't have turned. But because my scores were far apart, I needed to make a high risk kick to mm. score. Yeah. And I didn't want to leave them at thinking like, man, I should have done this. Man, I should have tried this. I didn't want to regret. So yeah. I had to try. Yeah. What if I made those four extra points? I would yeah. have caught up with her. But um, now knowing that I'm capable of you know, potentially beating her in my next tournament, it's the lesson that I could take from this tournament. So, And uh, you already actually are looking forward to the next tournaments. I mean, you mentioned the Grand Prix. You yes. mentioned being an ambassador in Buenos Aires and Argentina. Now that you have another experience in the Asian Games under your belt, what are you going to be working on in preparation for the upcoming tournaments? So for the upcoming tournaments, what I like coming in or after this Asian Games is the, I keep telling everybody this, it's the mental preparation. All athletes, no matter what sport, we all train the, f the physical part. We all know how to move. That's, that's what we've been doing all our lives. But what sets the champions apart is the mental training that you put in. I can't just, because I won, I can't just you know, go out and celebrate and hang out with friends. I still have to go back in the gym and train and stay focused because I have so many things lined up for me, you know. Based on what you just said, I, I can feel like you're a very focused person, you're very busy, you love Taekwondo, obviously. Yeah. And since this is my first time to get to talk to you on the score, I want to ask a little bit about your background. I knew, I, I, I know that you you uh, grew up in the States. Yes. Pauline, paano ba nagsimula ang iyong pagmamahal para sa Taekwondo? And how did your journey with sports begin? Okay, so funny story. My dad uh, used to be a national team member mm -hmm. back then. He loved the sport. Unfortunately, he just wasn't able to get a break for himself he, before going into a very big tournament. I want to say, I think it's, it was Asian Games back then also. Yeah. He was supposed to go into the Asian Games. I forgot what year it's back then, but uh, he got injured right before, a very bad injury. So he, he said, you know what? I'm not going to let my kids do Taekwondo. It's, it's a very dangerous sport. Uh -huh. but. When he went to the States, he started teaching Taekwondo there. And he, uh, he brought me an after-school program. And I just sat there and just watched. And I said, Dad, like, let me try this. Like, I love this. Like, this How is... old were you then? I want to say like eight or nine eight, years old. Okay. And I was so persistent and stubborn to the point where he was like, you know what, fine, try it. And as soon as he saw like, the way I was moving and like, the potential that I had, that's how it all started. And I fell in love with it because of the, the values that that it taught me. You know, it's not just the sport. I'm a martial artist. Mm -hmm. The values that come with it is uh, self-confidence, modesty, fighting spirit, perseverance, etiquette, all of those, that is what makes you a martial artist. Now, if I can do this in my sport, I can bring those values outside 
in school and with my family. It's the champion thinking. You were born here. Tiga san ka barito sa Pilipinas, Pauline? Uh, Quezon City. Quezon City. Yes. And then you moved to the States with your family, your dad. What age? About seven years old. About yeah. seven years old. And then a year later, that's when you watched your dad and then you said you wanted to get into yes. it. What was your... Like, how big is Taekwondo over there in the States, in it's, LA? It's not really a known sport. It's more uh -huh. of just like an after-school activity and, uh -huh. and a lot of parents like it when kids go to uh, do Taekwondo because it teaches them, like, lessons. Uh -huh. But for me, I took it very seriously already at the age of like 10. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Did yeah. you do any other sport aside from Taekwondo um, while you I, were over there? I tried track and field because mm. I love running. Yeah. Um, I tried that for just about a year or two and then I went back to Taekwondo. Mm. All right. And then now you're in Ateneo. How did that start? <laughs> like, recruit ka ba ng Ateneo? Did, did anybody okay. learn about you <laughs> while you were competing in Taekwondo in the States? How did, how did that hmm. come about? From LA to Katipunan. <laughs> Okay, so what happened was, since I was 14, since I started um, competing for the Philippines in 2010, uh, there's been coaches from actually like La Salle, Atenea, USC, um, saying, you know what, when you're in college, come to our school, we'll take care of you. And then, actually, my plan was to go to La Salle. Um, <laughs> but then, uh, when I went inside Ateneo, I fell in love with it. I felt like I fit in, and then the people around are so welcoming. and. And that's how it all started. <laughs> what are you taking up in Ateneo? Um, AB Psychology. Okay. So, kung hindi ka nagtataekwondo, ano ang buhay ni Pauline Lopez? Like, what do you want to do, let's say, if you were not an athlete? If I wasn't... Okay, it's hard to separate I know, me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I definitely want to help other athletes in sports psychology. Mm, I like, see. I keep telling you about the mental training. Yeah. It's other athletes, like, when I'm finishing school. Like, I want to help athletes reach their full potential. Because... We, as athletes, we know how our bodies work. But if you don't have this in your heart, then how can you perform? Yeah. All right. So what is next for you, Pauline? You're 22 years old right mm -hmm. now. You're still finishing your degree in yes. Ateneo. How far do you want to take it in terms of Taekwondo? Well, um, so since 2016, since I lost my chance in the 2016 uh, Rio Olympics, I vowed myself that I will do everything that I can, my best, to try and and earn that spot in the 2020 Olympics. So um, the tournaments that I have, those are all stepping stones into my dream, which is the Olympics. So, yeah. In Tokyo. So, uh, Pauline, we wish you the best when it comes to that. We'll be praying for you. Now, I'd like to uh, ask you to give a message to everybody who, who wants to fight and strive for their dreams just like you have. Go ahead. To everyone out there who wants to go through this path, I just want to tell you that believe in yourself and keep working hard and, and just pray. Um, that's something that's so big for me. And um, I just want to thank everybody out there also who prayed for me this journey um, to the Philippine Olympic Committee, Sports Commission, MVP Sports Foundation, Philippine Taekwondo Association, and my virtual playground family. Just thank you so much for the support. This is not my win, this is our win. And of course, all the Filipinos out there, so thank you. Well said, we have 2018 Asian Games bronze medalist Pauline Lopez on the score tonight. Pauline, maraming salamat at mabuhay ka. Hey everybody, this is Anton Rojas. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's ABS-CBN Sports and Action.